Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to handle auto-suggest. Auto-suggest is an UI component that will suggest you certain set of string based on input supplied. For example, over here, if I supply A as initial string, it is going to suggest me the name of country which is starting from A. So we are going to automate this particular component. If you observe my action closely here, first I am supplying the initial string, waiting for the auto suggest list and then selecting the value from the auto suggest list. So there are three steps involved here and the automation will happen in the similar manner. So here I am going to add one more directory inside test script directory. The name is auto suggest. Inside this, I'm going to add a class called test auto suggest. I'm going to make this class as public and the attribute is test class. Inside this, I will create a public method. So public void test auto suggest and the attribute is test method. So first of all I need to navigate to this web page. So here navigation helper dot navigate to URL and this is the URL. So our step one was to supply the initial string. So first of all I need to identify that web element so i web element element equal to object repository dot driver dot find element by dot id so if i inspect this particular text box the id is this after that i will supply the initial string so send keys and a then step two is to wait for auto suggest list. So again here I'm going to use the dynamic wait, wait concept. So where wait equal to generic helper dot get web driver wait and here I need to specify the timeout. So this is our framework method which is going to give us the web driver weight object and this object will help us to create the dynamic weight. And here I will just introduce a delay thread dot sleep of thousand millisecond that is one second so that list will have a sufficient time to get visible now I'm going to create a weight logic so private func delegate input will be I web driver and instead of returning the single element or true or false here I'm going to return the list of I web element because inside the auto suggest we will have more than one element so i list and i web element so get all element and by locator so here again i will use the anonymous function so x employs and here the function definition so return x dot find elements by locator so as we know that the find elements method is going to return us multiple elements so now here I am going to call the until method so wait dot until get all element by dot x path 
Now I need to find the xpath of this auto suggest. So this is the ID. So slash slash ul at the rate ID equal to this and see all the auto suggest element are the mated child of this node. So here I will use the child access view li. Okay. So this is the x path. And after that, so as we have already discussed that whatever the output of this function will become the output of this method. So it is going to return as the i list of i web element elements. So here I will use for loop for each elements and here I will check their string so if ele1 dot text dot equals so let us suppose I want to select Austria then element one dot click. So as we know that this particular list contain I web element so I can easily perform this action and here I will introduce the delay so that you can see the action. Okay. I am going to build our solution and run this script. So as you can see here, it has selected the value from the auto suggest list. Now I'm going to run the same script inside the Firefox. So again, build our solution. And run this script. So as you can see here, the same script works fine inside Firefox also. Now our third browser that is iExplorer. So build our solution and run this script. So as you can see uh, the same script works fine inside the iExplorer also. So in this manner you can handle the auto suggest. That's all for this video and thanks for watching.